Design Tea Design Co. Welcome back to my channel. This is video number six in the Adoptee Newbie um, swap tutorial. Our first embellishment is going to be a bag topper and um, we finished our book in the last video. We decorated the cover. Here's what it looks like. And after I turned off the camera, I did do a few more little things. I switched out this butterfly just because I wanted it to stand out a little bit more. And I added some little sequins to the cover. I also made this little charm and added that to the cover, the eyelet. And then I added Robin's name to the spine. So the cover is done. And now for our first embellishment, we're going to make um, some bag toppers. And I'm, the paper I'm using, this is a glitter paper I got at uh, Dollar Tree like a couple of, a year or two ago. And so it's really, it's a sticker paper, but it's really, really thin. So I needed to back it up with um, something a little bit more sturdy. So this is 110 pound cardstock. So we're going to back it up with that. And then this paper for the detail um, is a hieroglyphic, a textured hier uh, holographic. I don't know why I keep saying hieroglyphic. Hiero, ah, iridescent, I don't know that worked better. Holographic um, paper that is a textured paper that I got at Hobby Lobby. And it's kind of a bluish tint to it. So this is what I'm going to use for the detail color. So that's going to go on top of here. Um, I also cut out some of these little shells and this, both of these are files from the Silhouette um, store. So here's um, a shell and then this was a dye that, a uh, bow dye that I have in my stash. So this is what we're going to use. I also made a couple of paper roses and to make these I use this EK um, Success Tiny Punch. So that's that. All right, let's get started. So first I'm gonna peel off the backing of this paper. And like I said, this paper, I got it at the Dollar Tree. And I do like it, it's really thin. But this is a sticky, sticky paper, but it is not very sticky. So I add a little bit, move all this stuff out of the way here. I just add a little bit of glue around the edges because I want to make sure that this is going to stick and hold up on my project. Really good. So let's add this to here. bone folder. This is a Teflon bone folder and I love this thing. Nothing sticks to it so it's really nice to work with. I'm going to spread that glue out good. And like I said this barely arts glue really dries fast. So all right so now we got that base on and I'm going to add some of the glue to this decorative piece. And then, like I said, this dries really fast, so I'm going to quick do some touching up of this glue to make sure it sticks in most of these points that I want it to not dry on me before I get it laid down. All right, and I'm not going to do the tail yet because I'll do that once I get this first part laid down. All right, there we go. This is just a, a dried out baby wipe that I used to dry my hands when I was dying um, seam binding when I did the blue. <laughs> but it's all dried now, so. All right, 
press that in there good. Whip up that extra glue. All right, now we're gonna take the bottom part here. I'm gonna add more glue to the bottom of it. Make sure we get the edges really good. And these points because we don't want them to lift. All right. Let's just lay that down. Sure we got that. Press down in there really good. Especially on those edges. All right, so there's our base. I love how that turned out. Okay. So, next thing we're going to do is we're going to add a bow, and I'm just going to add a little hot glue, I'm going to stick the bow right here at the tail, you can see, isn't that cute, and these are bows I just made using the paper collection, and I want to add one of these little shells. So I'm going to add that like right there. There we go. And that's just a gold paper I got at Michael's. And it's not a cardstock. Well, it says it's cardstock, but it's really not. It's just really a gold paper. So we got that. And then I like to add, this is eyelash trim, but I cut the little eyelashes off because I think they look like, um, I think they look like seaweed kind of. So I'm going to add a little bit of glue in the middle here. And I'm going to stick some of these in the middle here. I think I'm going to do about six of them. Couple more. And one more. There we go. And that's cute. It's got a little bit of um, iridescent in there too. And I just got that from Amazon a while back. I had it for probably a year or so. All right. So that's this. I'm going to spread it out a little bit. Okay. And then I'm going to add a little bit of this is a little piece of iridescent trim. So for this, I'm going to just add a dab of hot glue. Stick that down in there. I'm going to use my Teflon bowl folder to hold it. P to press it in there because then the glue, the glue holds on better to that Teflon. 
doesn't stick as well or ain't as bad to the Teflon as it would to your fingers and everything else. Press that down in there. And then I have a few little stamens. I wanted to add some color. So I got some pink, a yellow, and a blue stamens. And I'm just going to add those. And a little of those to, to the center too. to the other side. I just like, I think it gives it a little bit of color. So. And a little bit of texture. So I add these. A little bit of glue. Hold that there for a minute. All right. Now I'm going to put a lot of glue in the middle. Big glob. And I'm going to add my little flower to the center there. And these flowers are made using the same paper collection. I just punched them out and then crafted them. And there we have it. Our bag topper. And then let's see. I have these cute iridescent bags. So this is what it would look like on top of your bag. What a cute, what a cute little bag topper. I love it. So I'm going to use these bag toppers not only in the embellishment book that I'm sending to Robin, but also to um, the embellishment swap that I'm doing with uh the craft the or the scrapbook loft for her June swap this month is um, bag topper. So I think I'll make some of these because I think they're just adorable, and um, add some of these to that too. So thanks. I hope you like this video, and I hope you like our cute little bag toppers. Thanks, and we'll see you on the next crafty video.